What are some dumb purchases you made? Lifetime Mega Video Subscription It was shut down shortly afterwards for copyright infringement. Well, you get what you paid for. It was just that it was for Mega Video's lifetime, not yours. So many unnecessary things early on in college. It was the first time I had some kind of income from working a part-time job. So I thought it was absolutely necessary to buy all my textbooks instead of renting them or finding them online for free. I also spent a fucked on dorm room stuff, which hardly anyone was going to see or care about since the dorms came furnished anyway. Lessons learned. I'd definitely pass on that advice to anyone going into college in the US. When I was 17 I had unknowingly saved up a lot $2,000 from work I chose to spend this on a double neck guitar that the most 17 year old with unexpected $2,000 to blow purchase ever. My first time in Germany. I was only there for a few months. So I thought, I don't need a bond card. I'm not here for a full year. Then I spent well over 1,000 euros on train tickets. The whole time I could have been saving 50% and collecting loyalty points. Bought $50 worth of Beanie Babies because I thought they'd be worth something. Also bad, buying those plastic tag protectors. And an expensive giant case to display said Beanie Babies to keep them in pristine, collectible condition. I have one Beanie Baby left from when I was a kid because it's the one I wanted most. Batty. Last night I was about to put it on eBay to see if I could get anything for it. Then decided that my toddler might enjoy playing with it. Ripped off the tag. Still in its protector. And it felt so sacrilegious. I used to buy Starbucks and or lunch for several co-workers multiple times a week. I was in an incredible amount of debt. Yikes. Hopefully they reciprocated. If he was in debt probably not skeptical smiley face. Or he was well fed, well caffeinated, and in debt. I once spent $15 on a Postmates order for ice cream. Reminds me of when I ordered pizza because I wanted a soda. Deciding to go to grad school in 2012 to 5 years after graduating for no other reason than I have no clue what to do with my life. Does it serve any purpose in your life now? Not up, but I got a master's degree as a way to get out of IT. But had no real plans in place for afterwards. I graduated into the 2008 financial crisis and am still working in IT. The master's degree has done absolutely nothing for me except cost me student loan payments. I traded a rather rare volume into a local used bookstore because I had two of them. Then went back to the bookstore a month later and excitedly bought my own book back because it was rare and I didn't think I owned it. I was wrong. I like to think the same employee that received it from you also sold it to you and was profoundly confused. That's how you do secret trades. Sell a book with hidden messages. Question mark, question mark, question mark, buy book bag profit. A cactus that lights up. You can send it to me lol. Spent over $100 or more buying clothes for my avatar on a virtual reality game when I could've spent it on, you know, actual clothes. I bought a faceless doll to scare people. Turns out I was the most scared one. Why is there a faceless doll in your closet? Quote, I bought it to scare people. Quote, wait a minute, why does it have Ray? Is this a sex doll? Quote, I refuse to answer more questions. I plead the fifth, single quote. I bought a lot of how to kids books. Like how to knit, how to calligraphy, how to paint, how to write poetry, etc. Have I learned how to do a single one of those things? No. No I have not. Edit. Y'all thanks but I am aware of the existence of YouTube, Google, and libraries. That would buy why I'm saying they are dumb purchases lol. 
how to Google how to do stuff. I can help. I'm actually an author and wrote how to stop buying how to books. $400 and I'll mail you my first extortion. I mean addition. Airplane Wi-Fi, so I could be browsing ass credit right now. I've spent once 20 bucks on airplane Wi-Fi on a 12-hour flight. Only for Reddit, no regrets. Getting home drunk and spending $15 on the Animal Crossing app. This has happened three times. That's especially terrible as the currency is extremely overpriced yet can easily be obtained in game. I bought an $80 pen one time. Edit. I was about 8 years old and was driving to Florida from NY with my dad and sisters. My dad is super showy and I have no idea where he got the money. So at a rest stop, he handed us each a $100 bill and said get whatever you want. So I bought the pen for $80. He was not happy when I got back to the car. Edit edit. My father and I don't get along. And one of the reasons is he throws money at everything instead of actually solving the problem. So this was basically just to keep three little girls quiet during a 19 hour drive. It was pretty typical of him. Edit edit edit. I'm 33 and no longer of the pen. I DK what happened to it over the years. But I hope someone who loves pens found it and gave it a nice life. A house in 2007, it's still not worth as much as we paid for it. My parents bought in 2004, around 2012-2013 when I was applying for the FAFSA. It gave an error when I entered that their mortgage was more than the house's worth. Edited for grammar. So what did you do? I remember calling the FAFSA technical support line. I think they changed the error into a warning so I was able to submit it. $400 fish tank lighting. I wasn't carpenter enough to build the hood to mount it. It sits in the basement as a monument of my idiocy. In the past I convinced new parents to spend $500 for fish stuff. I don't know how they were convinced. They are your parents, they love you and just wanted to support your hobby as it made you happy. The older I get, the more I realize this. My parents paid out so much money over the dumbest shit for me. An ex broke up with me. She was the first person I dated and didn't really know how to navigate the breakup so I bought her a really thoughtful gift for her birthday a month later. What a waste of money and time looking back on it. There's a lot of things I'd regret more than a gift for someone else. She obviously mattered at some point. I bought an umbrella on a rainy day once from a cheap corner store that seemed like it was a hidden drug operation or something, and it broke that very day. Why would you buy an umbrella? They're free in that little tin can at coffee shops. Edit. Gold. Cool. Thank you. Those belong to people George. I'm usually pretty conservative with my spending but I have bipolar disorder and sometimes when I am manic I go a little nuts with dumb purchases. My two worst are probably a top of the line spin bike. Which I had never tried before. For about $1000 and I resold for 300 once I was out of the episode. And I also convinced myself to join a hockey league. I spent $1,200 on skates, pads, gloves, stick and helmet. I have never skated and I still haven't. All the gear is in the back of my closet and I cringe whenever I stumble across it. Yes, go use that equipment. My 7-year-old won his first hockey tournament today. And it's great, but I also have a friend, in his 40s, who had never laced them up before last season and his team won their beer league championship and he was stoked. It's never too late to start. This kills me every time I remember it and it's honestly made me into the extreme money saver I am. Today, when I was younger, my family visited Niagara Falls. I had $50, which is a lot for a kid with no job, and was excited to buy some souvenirs. I spent it all on keychains. 
I only got like six of them which made it to $50. They were all of the same place. 2. It's not like they were from different cities. I wasted all the money I owned on freaking keychains. Who even uses those? It haunts me to this day. I had accidentally doubled my dose of pain meds right before I went to go to see a showing of the film. Drive. On my walk home I ordered a pair of what I thought was the gloves Ryan Gosling's character wears in the film. A week later I got them in the mail and realized they were three sizes too big and entirely different. Color. 160 bucks down the toilet. That night I took my Ambient and apparently decided to try again after staying on the computer after my sleep meds had kicked in. I bought the same pair of gloves. Subscribe for more hot Reddit takes in your inbox.